or how does that make you feel? I don't know whether you can see it, or whether it may be in its back to front, I don't know. Uh, the attention's been around them. Your whole relationship has been about them. And you're going round and round and round afterwards, spinning, believing this is all your fault. Um, and between the ages of zero and seven, we learn so much. We're sponges, we take on so much. So some of this might come from stuff you've heard or feel about yourself, whether you feel worthy. And maybe that is why um, that you've experienced what you have. But the whole relationship was about them. So now, not only do you feel lonely and lost and living in a place of fear, doing something for yourself is just gonna feel so alien. It's not gonna feel right. It's, you've got, you're not going to want to do it. So when you see something like, hello gorgeous, how does that make you feel? When you go to buy yourself something, how does it make you feel? Right. There's a grief process that you need to go through. Something's died and uh, it's a relationship that you believed in, a fake future that, that you believed in has gone. And it's about recreating a new one, but one that is real one that has got foundations. You need stable foundations and that was something that you didn't get in that relationship because the mask went on. Once you told them what you were looking for in the relationship, they wore the mask of that person that they thought you wanted to be because these people are really insecure. These people are, um, a hollow and they were attracted to you by the energy that you had they were attracted to you because they wanted something they wanted that for themselves not only are they identity thieves you might find that they actually steal things as well so if it's not nailed down or glued down and it disappears you might find that's where it's gone. They see everything as their own. They don't see it as as uh, somebody else's. I've watched Dirty John on Netflix, which is an amazing series. It describes the relationship, that toxic relationship, or it doesn't describe it, you watch it. You see it from two points of view. You can see it as, um, as Debbie, the, the, the mother and the, and the partner and, and the wife. Uh, and then you see what's going on behind the scenes and how John is, um, the lies that he's telling and the scenarios he's creating. Um, it's absolutely fascinating. And she went in one day, um, she was a very successful businesswoman and she withdrawn some money because she knew things weren't right in her relationship. And he had access to a bank account and she said but it's my money you know anything I had before I met you is mine and he said no it isn't it's mine you they just take over your life as as John did this is it's going to be really strange coming out of a relationship and you're living in fear you might be living you might be really really lonely and um and if you're in contact with these people as well it's painful and reliving that every time they come to pick up children or every time that you've got, you receive a text message, email, or you're trying to sort out finances, it's going to, um, going to re-trigger you. So think about what you can do. Think about what you can do for yourself. You might be financially, they might have stolen everything from you as well. So think about, things you can do for yourself uh, that don't cost very much. But, and this is step by step because you come out of this relationship and your self-esteem is probably shriveled um, to nothing. And it's building it up and allowing yourself to see how worthy you are and how beautiful you are and, um, and lifting your energy up again. So things like if you can meditate, um, you know, and, and meditation doesn't have to be sitting there for hours on a cushion. It could be a couple of minutes, just 
calming your body down. Um, Himalayan bath salts. Now, I picked the uh, a big bag up um, recently for in a supermarket for about two pound fifty, and they were. I know they were on offer, but it was. Uh, I picked a bag up. If you can get in a bath, hopefully you've got one. If you can get in a bath with um, the bath salts, it, they are just amazing. Um, I don't know what it does. They restore something within you very, very quickly. Um, you might feel you're being drained of energy and they somehow whether they break that, that connection, that energetic, energetic connection, I don't know, but they do something and it's certainly worth it, worth investing in that. Taking time out in nature, drinking lots of water, um, just taking little tiny, doing little tiny things for yourself, giving yourself permission to do things, small little things, um, that this is what you need to do now is looking after you and looking after your energy and looking after yourself. You're keeping yourself as far away and, and so they haven't got any control over your life and just allowing yourself to be, um, find out who you are again. Um, find out who you are, who you were, remember who you were before you gave over so much. Sending you lots of love.